Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, this is my LED cube project. And um, recently I just got code working to um, be able to uh, change where th which LED is lighting up um, in order, using the input devices like the joystick and the buttons, in order to start my snake game, which will be really cool. So, it starts off here. And then the joystick, I made it so if the joystick leaves a threshold on the X and Y axis, basically if it is above a certain value or below a certain value, then it will turn off the one that is currently on, adjust a, a variable, and then turn on that LED. And I also have a 2D array that uh, covers the X and Y plane. And I decided not to use an array for the rest of the cube, because then I'd have a 3D array and that would be kind of confusing. Um, I'll explain how that works once I get to it. So now, I can move it around, which is really cool, using the joystick. And it works the way it should be. It's not like the axes are flipped or anything. Um, and then, basically, all the, all the buttons are doing is it's turning off this cathode, or the transistor that would turn off the cathode, and then adjusting a variable. It does like the same thing and then it turns on the next one, so I'm going to make it go down. Yay. And you could also have it, it scrolls, so if you go up from the top one, it'll go to the bottom one, and vice versa, if you go below the bottom one, it'll go to the top one. Scroll, it scrolls on all the axes, so if you go off the x-axis, it goes over there, uh, same way. And if you go off the y-axis, it should do the same thing. Um, the code is a little bit weird, like you're allowed to go diagonally, which I didn't actually intend to happen, and then does some weird stuff depending on where you are, because you're, you, in the snake game you shouldn't go diagonally, that would be really weird and complicated. <laughs> um, and also it kind of derps out when you go down and diagonal at the same time, or whatever. It's just kind of confusing at times, um, especially when I increase the speed or the frame rate. Um, but yeah, it works pretty well. It's, I'm just really glad I got the inputs working. So now I'm working on using, uh, I can actually get it out just one second, using checkboxes, I'll make this brighter, but using checkboxes on uh, an HTML program to light up specific LEDs to make different animations and patterns and stuff like that. And you'd be able to submit it and then it would output code that can be copied and pasted into my Arduino program, which would be really great. I just have to get uh, the Arduino side code working first, and then I'll translate that into this uh, HTML slash PHP program that I have going here. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed.